Hi, and welcome to the Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. If you're new to the channel on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe, or if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to like this page. We do weekly videos here showing you how to recognize the patterns found in hit songs, both past and present throughout the years, because there is a Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. All songs that have become hits on the radio have followed certain patterns embedded in those songs in order to become commercially successful. So today we're going to be looking at a fun song from the 60s by the Bo Brummels, Just a Little. And this one's a very good study because it follows uh, a very obvious formula, this being the formula of threes. So this is a good example to check out for some people who are still a little confused about how to recognize the, the patterns in these various videos we've been doing here. So again, the concept of the secret hit songwriting formula is self-similarity. So the verse, the chorus, the bridge, any significant section of the song must contain a rhythmic hook that is uh, consisting of the same amount of notes, in this case, three notes. Okay, so the reason this is such an easy study is when we get into the verse of this classic hit, it immediately starts dividing itself neatly into three note motifs. I can stay, yes I know, you know I hate to go, but goodbye. Love was sweet. Our worlds can never meet. Okay, so there's the verse written out in blue. And as you can see, it neatly divides into three note rhythmic hooks. They're all separated with rests. And because they neatly break into three syllables, three notes, uh, and they're divided by rest, that's just clear and obvious that the verse is following a three note formula. So what that's doing is that's setting our subconscious mind up to expect a three note hook in the next part of the song, which is the chorus. And when our ears hear that three note hook, whether they're counting for it or not, then it sounds very satisfying to our subconscious mind as if we've known the song already or as if we've known it all along. And that's what makes the song have that hit potential. So we get to the chorus. So I'll cry just a little, cause I love you so. And I'll die just a little, cause I have to go. And then he gets to away, which are, that's my symbol for insignificant syllables, okay? Two syllables that are insignificant. They don't count toward the formula. But if you look at the other two lines in our chorus, so I'll cry just a little cause I love you so. And then you look at the line that's perfectly rhythmically congruent to that. And I'll die just a little cause I have to go. Those two phrases are perfectly congruent and they both perfectly group into three note syllable or syllabic phrases. Okay, so the word little that's a three there, just to be clear. We have the third syllable from there, and then the new syllable count starts there in the middle of that word. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then away, two insignificant syllables. Okay, so as we can see, the chorus also follows the formula of threes. And just in case we still weren't sure, he goes on in the next verse. One, two, three, how I feel when I say love's unreal. So goodbye, it's been sweet, even though incomplete. Okay, and then he gets right back into the chorus. So here, this song is a great example of how you can contrast sections and show some variation within sections and still follow the formula. Okay, some people think, oh, if I follow this formula, oh, my songs are sounding so predictable and stale because, you know, it's the same rhythmic hook over and over again. That's incorrect. Um, there are ways to accomplish variation uh, while still following these necessary patterns that the listeners are expecting, okay? So for instance, in this case, the variation is accomplished by having very short motifs in the verse, okay, our verse has very short motifs. They're very separate. I can't stay, rest. Yes, I know, rest. You know I rest, hate to go. So they're short, separate phrases. 
okay, and they're not too wordy. And then in the chorus, he does the opposite by stringing longer phrases together that aren't short and easily recognizable. So I'll cry just a little cause I love you so, and I'll die just a little cause I have to go. He's increasing the tempo, he's, or he's rather increasing the pace of those three note hooks. It's creating a sense of urgency, it's propelling the song forward. It's a big contrast to the verse, which is short phrases that aren't strung together endlessly, okay? So there you go, it doesn't feel stale, it doesn't sound predictable, but it does follow a necessary formula, the formula of threes. All right, and then we get to the instrumental section of the song, and as we know from our book, The Secret Hit Songwriting Formula, uh, instrumentals don't necessarily have to follow a formula, but again, this song is, one of the reasons I picked this song is it's just such a great example of being able to recognize these patterns when you're new to learning the formula. So in the solo, he goes, the guitar goes, da 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 ba ba da 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 Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Look at that. One, two, three. And then the echoing one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, again, short, kind of in the style of the verse, but yet again, they've managed to accomplish variation with just misplacing those three note hooks in uh, different parts of the measure. So even the solo in this song, the guitar solos, the call and response, also break down into threes, pretty cool. So there you have it, because our verse, our chorus, and even our instrumental section all follows obvious three note hooks. Just a Little by the Bo Brummels is certainly a song that follows the formula of threes. If you need more help with this, please visit www.secrethitsongwritingformula.com. We have the only book in the world there that gives away all these secret rhythmic and melodic patterns found in hit songs, both past and present. And it comes with a money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied for any reason. So if you're intrigued by how to make your songs more catchier and how to make them follow the necessary patterns to become hits, please be sure to check out that book at secrethitsongwritingformula.com. Thanks. We'll see you next time.